Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving break. I am here in West Virginia. I came for Thanksgiving, and since we're teaching from home and learning from home, I am going to be here through the Christmas holidays, so that way I can stay safe and not have to worry about travel back, traveling back and forth. When I woke up this morning, um, this was in my little office chair. So during the class meeting, I read the story, The Elf on the Shelf, A Christmas Tradition. And I have never had an elf appear before because I haven't had students in, you know, for a long time or even little kids at home. But the story kind of explains the elf. So it says, have you ever wondered how Santa could know if you're naughty or nice each year as you grow? For hundreds of years, it's been a big secret. It now can be shared if you promise to keep it. At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report all that you do. My job's an assignment from Santa himself. I am his helper, a friendly scout elf. The first time I come to the place you call home, you quickly must give me a name of your own. Once you are finished, my mission can start. What will you call me, Markle or Zart? Will it be Foddle, Criddle, or Clyde? For Fisbee's cute too, but you must decide. Each night while you're sleeping, to Santa I'll fly to the North Pole right through the dark sky. Of course, Christmas magic helps, to, helps me to be quick. I laugh with my friends and report to St. Nick. I tell him if you have been good or been bad, the news of the day makes him happy or sad. A push or a shove, I'll report to the boss, but small acts of kindness will not be a loss. In the car, at the park, or even at school, the world will get out if you broke a rule. I'll be back at your home before you awake, and then you must find the new spot I will take. You'll jump out of bed and come running to see who will be the first to spy little old me. Do you see him on these pages? Maybe the kitchen, the bathroom, or den is where you will find your special elf friend. I can hide on a plant, a shelf, or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a game. Do you see him on here? You can look in the bathtub. There's only one rule that you have to follow, so I will come back and be here tomorrow. Please do not touch me. My magic might go, and Santa won't hear all I've seen or I know. I won't get to tell him that you've said your prayers or helped to bake cookies or cleaned off the stairs. How will he know how good you have been? He might start to think you forgot about him. I can't speak to you, so says Santa Claus. All of us elves have to follow his laws. I'll listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or some tiny toy dishes? The gleam in my eye and my bright little smile shows you I'm listening and nothing, and nothing you'll file. Noting your file, sorry, noting your file. So he's taking notes on whatever you say. The final decision with Santa now rest. What do you think? Will you get your request? The night before Christmas, my job's at an end. The rest of the year with Santa I'll spend. So blow me a kiss and bid me farewell. I'll fly away when I hear Santa's bell. 
Of course, I will miss you, but wait till next year. When the holidays come, I'll again reappear. Until then, I wish every girl and each boy a Christmas of peace and a year full of joy. So it looks like there's two rules. Number one, we need to give our elf a name. And number two, we cannot touch our elf. So it looks like we have a girl. And the reason I say that is because, I don't know, she just looks like a girl and she's got earrings. So if you have any name ideas, put them in the comments below and join us for our 2.30 meeting where we will learn more about our elf. Have a great day.